Mr. Brown, you've taught in Metro School in Metro City School District for four years, am I correct? Uh, yes, I already said. <laughs> for the four years, you've met various types of students, am I correct? Of course, there's many students. <laughs> and were there many stu students who lacked basic skills in reading and writing? Well, I, uh, I just said in before to my lawyer that some have difficulty with writing and some might have difficulty with reading and some are even awake in the class and it's, de it's dependent to the students. Yes, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> uh, were you aware that Chris Moss was lacking reading and writing skills? Uh, yes. <laughs> and but Chris was Chris Moss was a good participant, right? Yes, I said I I talk about his mock trial. He got a word. <laughs> no, and so although his test grades were low, he was he contributed to the class very much, right? Uh, no, I cannot sure because I always say he's everyone called him Chris the punk. He like he. Like, I'm really just thankful that he just listened to the class, but, I mean, look at his whole, whole homeworks and all the stuff. <laughs> I mean, I mean, contributed as giving good ideas and opinions. <clears throat> you mean, I, I, I don't know, I can exactly so, understand. So, Chris Moss, although his test grades were low, uh, contributed to the class by suggesting good ideas and opinions. Uh, yeah, he just listened. He participated in quite well. Quite a bit. You let good students read the reading materials out loud, right? Uh, yeah, for the others. And you've read out the test questions out loud, out loud as well, right? Hey, I always said this. <laughs> uh, but you didn't do any supplementary education to those who couldn't read, did you? What? You didn't do any supplementary education for those students who couldn't read, right? Uh, I don't understand exactly, but I think uh, so you didn't you didn't make programs or uh, you didn't make a curriculum to help students who are lacking in reading skills, but instead in reading skills, right? Uh, I tried my best to teach students, and all students, and I love all my students. So, uh, uh, but not maybe uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> the school's policy is to pass this. Pass the students whenever possible, am I correct? Uh, if you read our school's policy, it's right. Okay, I'll accept that, yes. And you've always had a review before us test? I said. And that <laughs> review is enough to prepare, that review itself is enough to prepare for the test? Uh, I'm kind of sure because I mean I try my best because I love my pet I love my students and I believe their potentials. I mean, but it's dependence to the students. <laughs> <laughs> but it's enough to get a passing grade, right? Although not an outstanding. If grade. they study hard. Uh, and following the school policy, you've made many ways for a student to pass, pass, such as alternative grading <laughs> methods and giving credit. Just for handing in. Not for just handing in. I mean, I just I do many class other like class activities instead of tests like mock trials or like that. And those uh, alternative, but you gave like alternative grading me method. You gave alternative grading methods instead of which could cover up the bad test grade, right? Uh, but I not just gave them. Scores. I give them another like chance. If, so if they do hard in their second chance, they might get good grades. Okay, no further questions. Thank you. You're <laughs>